On the 30th of June 2024, I will be co-hosting a live online satsang with my very special guest, Shelley Reamer. Shelley is a spiritual teacher who can tune into your energy live whilst in conversation with you and channel messages for you from your own spirit guides. Together, we will be providing life coaching, business coaching, spiritual guidance and support for your psychic and intuitive skills development. To register for the satsang and join us live in person for this very special event, click on the QR code or follow the link in the description box below. Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading today. I hope everything is going brilliantly in your world. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new, this is a channel for anyone with a significant Pisces placement, sun, moon, rising or Venus. And if you are just vibing with the Pisces energy, you're also incredibly welcome here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for sharing your incredible energy with this beautiful collective on an ongoing basis. It's amazing to be able to read for you all. So we have got here blue energy coming through with angels and with the blue rose. I feel like the universe wants to send a message. There's very calm and gentle energy present as well in all of these cards. So um, and these cards here are a, a very simple reading deck. I think there's a message to keep life simple and um, yeah, not to overcomplicate things. Just bringing that into focus. There we go. I know sometimes I get occasional comment about the autofocus on here, but focus in and out for me is really fascinating as a reader because it makes me understand that things need to come into focus for us all. Okay, speaking up, your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Absolutely. Okay. And it's a card number one, which is the magician energy. We can't magic change into our life if we don't understand the magic of who we are and what we want. Okay, wallflower, look for the crack on in the concrete to find your way out. And bloom and attract more butterflies, more than butterflies. Okay. You're breaking open something that has been holding you back or the universe is helping you break open something that's been holding you back. Oh, without looking, we have got here a rhinoceros. Wow, oh my goodness, talk about breaking open. And we have got a lizard, which is about the dream time. Wow. Okay, this is strong. The universe is helping you to break down i think your internal barriers about your fears of being true to yourself speaking your truth speaking the absolute truth of who you are including your psychic and intuitive and um, energetic gifts temple of the sea temple of the sea very much for me talks or speaks of our soul our deep emotional um, seat of our power and we have got emergence yeah oh my goodness <laughs> you can't make these cards up if you try okay so you're breaking down the barriers between your mind and your soul and you are ready or moving towards um being true being speaking the truth of your gifts wow okay let us get a couple of tarot cards. As I say, when you when I turn these over, you'll see that these cards are designed to make reading incredibly easy. The one thing they don't have is clear images on them, but if you're learning, they're quite good cards because you can see we've got all this narrative. So we've got the Four of Cups here. You're feeling stagnant and are having a hard time focusing on things that once made you happy and fulfilled. Be mindful of possible opportunities. You may be inclined to pass up on events, but may realize later that they would have led to amazing things. And we have got here the Nine of Swords. Fear is an awful thing, and it's difficult to reach out for help when it hits. Don't hide when you're stricken with grief or sadness. Sharing trauma or stress can, with others can be therapeutic and can help you regain control over what troubles you. Okay, I'm not quite sure where this is going. I feel I do feel that the universe is here to support us, you, the collective. Um, I'm part of the collective. I am a Pisces as well. About some kind of pending event that you might be putting on hold or you might be just contemplating what's coming through. Okay. 
where you've had some apathy, where you've had some concerns that when you were being true to yourself, you're living in fear of what other people will say. There's a there's a change here. There's a your your it's like you're rising from the depths. The real you is rising from the depths. Something is breaking open. Look how the light's going. I love it when this does that. The the camera interacts with the kind of light and dark of my um, clothes or the cards and things light up when you point at them. Look, when you speak up, look how the world lights up. Can you see the light around my arms? It's amazing. When you speak up about who you are, you're going to feel lit up from the inside out. And so there's an energy to contemplate what's holding you back. What are the fears? What are the anxieties? The universe wants to take that away from you so that you can emerge and blossom as exactly who you are. With this thick rhino skin, prepare to take on people who don't, you know, who don't, I was going to say don't understand you, but nobody, it's really, it's, it's hard to explain this, but nobody really cares. <laughs> and I don't want to say that, saying that nobody in this world cares about each other, but everybody's so concerned with trying to find their own way that most people don't have the capacity to take on other people's fears and concerns and worries. So we really do have to find ourselves. We really do have to find that strength from within, understand the fears, understand what holds us back. Because when we do put ourselves forward, I think some of the fear is, you know, it's about other people's responses, but we fear our own greatness. And yet we all have dreams about wanting to be great because that's what our ego wants to do. So there's a there's a re, there's a reason that this is all coming out together, which is there's something that you're about to push through, that you're about to break down some kind of internal mind barrier that you have. OK, we've got forest and breathe. And you're going to be able to breathe. It's going to be like a huge sigh of relief when you finally realize that admitting to yourself and admitting to the external world who you are now, what your gifts are now, who you want to be because you've decided to be that going forwards, it's going to be a huge sigh of relief. It's going to be like, oh, God, why didn't I do that sooner? Island and solitude. Yeah. All, all of life sometimes feels like we're in solitude, but we are, you know, we are we are so unique and we've kind of taught to homogenize and, and blend in and fit into the mold. And, and nobody wants to, nobody wants to fit into the mold. We all long to not be part of the mold. And, and even the mere act of trying to fit in with everybody else is basically saying that we don't want to conversely. <laughs> that, that probably doesn't make sense, but the fact that we try to not be ourselves means that we want to be ourselves, but we're trying not to be ourselves in order to somehow find a way where we can at least represent ourselves amongst other people. But what we don't do is represent ourselves to ourselves. And this is what this is saying. You're ready to represent yourself to yourself in the way that is right for you. And this is going to bring a huge amount of change. <laughs> there we go. It's going to bring a huge amount of change. This speaking up about yourself is going to bring you huge joy. And we had sun twice yesterday. We had this incredible joy coming through yesterday. Okay, and we have got the chariot and things will shift really, really fast for you. Nine of swords again, cruelty, and seven of swords, futility. I think some of you want to speak up about how challenging it is to be yourself. That this world is really, really cruel in the way that we we treat each other but i'm just going to throw this back in all of our faces we're, the world is cruel about how we treat each other because we're cruel about how we treat ourselves and when we and we realize that and we take a breath we decide that we're going to rise from the innermost longing for we all have to be ourselves and kind of getting this energy almost like you know how a volcanic island erupts and arises up from the depths of the ocean the depths of the sea and it creates an island out of nowhere I feel like you're starting to really push through the barriers of your emotions that have been stuck and start to claim the grounding space and territory that is you and on top of that, we've got this beautiful purple flower. It's like you're starting to open your crown chakra, opening your vision and starting to bloom. And this wallflower is like the crack, the, the, the pushing through of the earth mantle to allow your temple 
you know, to build on your island emergence. Yeah, look, this is <laughs> exactly that. We've got this island here emerging from the depths of your own emotions is the solidity and understanding that is you. And putting aside the way, look how the lights just suddenly shifted there. Okay, I'm just going to have to adjust that back a little bit, sadly. But we, um, I'll run with that. But we don't blossom until we stop being cruel to ourselves. And we don't shift ourselves forward to pure joy until we realize that hiding our light and dimming ourselves and being bored with life because we have decided for some reason that life would be less painful if we try to please other people. One day we wake up to the futility of that. One day we wake up and just say, well, you are Pisces as a collective waking up. Not everybody does wake up, on, um, sadly, but you are waking up to the idea that you will never be 100% fulfilled until you overcome this pesky thoughts in your mind of being unworthy, of not speaking your truth. And when you do and you ri rise up, here we go. I knew that would happen. <laughs> when you rise up, look at the light going back to them as always. There's, 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 this, there's this light shining backs and forwards, backs and forwards. Okay, so when we get rid of all this boredom, this this energy of being cruel to ourselves about not being true to ourselves life becomes solidified you become grounded forests can grow on your island look we've got this first tree and that out from the first tree becomes the forests that pro provide us with the incredible oxygen the light the 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 energy that is us so look here we've got you rising rising up rising up speaking up breaking through the barriers, the cracks, the, the concrete, the dome that has held you stuck as not being who you are in the next iteration. And it's going to bring you immense joy. And you're going to have wobbles, right? You're going to have mind-based fears. You're going to have the, the mind being horrible to yourself, you know, that inner nasty voice. It is the biggest challenge that we all have is that inner critic. No one on the outside of us provides or gives us as much challenge as our inner critic and our inner nasty voice does. And the belief that if we stay stuck, somehow life will be better. If we stay stuck and please other people, somehow life will be better. So your soul is saying to your ego, surrender to your soul. That's when the magic happens. And that's when the joy and everything starts shifting. And you change your perspective on life. You realize that you are this vast, incredible being. <laughs> oh my goodness, you can't make it up if you tried. And there's a volcano coming through. <laughs> I, I stand in awe of the cards. I stand in awe of the angels and the roses. Of all the cards to come through when I'm talking about that volcano erupting. Here you are. You're about to, your energy is about to erupt into the world in a very, very beautiful, very, very... Um, very rewarding way you know volcanoes are you know they're 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 big dangerous things on planet earth and and you know they're big and dangerous for humans but without volcanoes the planet earth wouldn't exist you know they they actually provide a lot of the earth's um you know environmental sustainable support whether that's creating new islands for vegetation to grow on or cycling rocks and minerals and so on um, you know, they're a vital component of our planet and your energy is a vital component of our planet. Our energy, our bodies are formed from Earth. Our energy comes along and creates our bodies from the Earth. And here you are, you're about to rise. Creative projects. It's time to get things done. Make your pro pro creative projects a priority now. And 2-2, two -two, which is a card of balance and you're on the right track. Okay, this is interesting because two days ago at the start of the week, we said um, life was a little bit about people and that creative projects were kind of needed to be careful how much you committed to before you had this interaction with people. 
So yesterday we had a lot of energy about interacting with people. And then today here we've got the creative projects. Okay, so the universe is challenging us or supporting us. And here we've got lust. We've got this lovely lion. Um, okay, I'm just going to come on to that in a sec. And the four cups and luxury. Wow. <laughs> okay, your creative projects. This is actually the card of strength. Um, so although it says lust there, it is a that inner power, that courage, that lust to be yourself, that that a real longing that your soul has to be yourself the longing that the universe has for you to experience your potential your creative projects are going to bring you real stability real reward real real cause for celebration living a life of luxury as you emerge fully with the essence of your creative soul and here we have speaking up something's about to happen you're cracking you're cracking through you're cracking through the shell of your your fears these negative energies here you're bored of not being true to yourself you fear being true to yourself your mind's being cruel by saying you're not good enough your um thoughts are oh my goodness it's there's there's no point doing this it's all futile and yet your soul and your angels are saying have a word with yourself pisces you are incredible change your perspective, realize that life is about your desire to live it the way that is going to be amazing for you. Understand the depths of your capability. We all have immense creativity. We have immense capability within us. All of us do. We get taught at school that if you have intellect, you're clever and that's it. No, creativity is what brings abundance. Creativity is what makes this world beautiful. Okay, intellect is helpful. It applies the creativity to solve problems, to bring out beautiful intellect and intelligence and wisdom into the world. But it's the creative juices that flow through our soul that we all long to express as ourselves and helps us grow and bloom and blossom. So you're about to break through the barrier. And oh my goodness, there's going to be an explosion of creativity. Look at this creative project speaking up. I, just, I can't believe that we've got this island when I was talking about that and emergence, this other island. Look, it's coming out through the sea. OK, so your creative projects are actually going to bring you a lot of luxury, a lot of wealth, a lot of abundance, a lot of stability, a lot of cause for celebration. And here I've got people are lusting after your strength. They're lusting after what you have to offer. People are craving your creativity and things are going to shift really, really positively and beautifully. So speak up to yourself. Your soul is guiding you to your truth. Time to release your creativity into the world. Okay, what else does the your angels, your guides want to say to you today? Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. And cause effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Okay, beautiful. And we have got. Those two want to show themselves as well, but I'm just going to pop them there for a sec. We have got creation again, soul expression, something new, sowing the seeds. Wow, okay. And we have got journey guides, travel, change in location. Okay, fantastic. Some of you might have a spontaneous opportunity to travel. We've got another two, two here. And we had two, two here with creative projects. Look at that. Okay, so spontaneity, cause and effect. Your creative projects might be bringing you some kind of opportunity to travel. Um, in fact, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get another one of these here. And... This is a guided, this can be a journey. It doesn't have to be a travel, physical journey. Um, all of our travel can be about the travel of the mind and creativity and creation and earth shifts. Wow, you are very connected to Mother Earth and as such, you experience all that she does. No kidding, after all of those islands and volcanoes and emotions coming, tumbling out. Wow, okay. And we have got High Priestess and Dolphin. Amazing. This card is a card of feminine power and wisdom. Do not rely on logic or rational thought at this time. If you choose the high priestess, you're called on to use your psychic and intuitive gifts. Respond to challenges from your deepest knowing. 
That's the temple that we, energy that we had here for your answers lie within. You're reminded to work with total integrity and compassion. And dolphin, this card, wisdom and joy, this card suggests that you live lightly and wisely, bringing joy, fun and laughter into your life. You're also guided to develop your healing abilities, serving your fellow humans and the planet. Ah, okay. So if some of you have got some kind of project where you're really interested in the healing arts, and the healing arts doesn't necessarily mean you're actually healing um, energetically. It can be, um, hang on, just get me a couple of charms here going on. Okay, we've got a flower opening and we have got here a fish, a Pisces fish. All right, beautiful. This is about Pisces being, you're being true to yourself and you're opening up to your gifts. The time is right for you to really experience the, the sun, the joy. Look here, that's amazing with the creation. You've been watering your flowers and here they come. Okay, so what was I saying? With this healing, healing at its most basic level is creating an interaction with yourself and then with other people that means somebody walks away from an interaction with you in a more positive state than they were before they interacted with you. And so that is as simple as giving somebody an affirmation, telling them that they're amazing, um, trying to help them not dwell on negativity. And even just a smile, a smile at a stranger is a healing energy. OK, so that is at its most basic and simple. And here with the dolphin, if you turn up happy and you smile at somebody, you are infecting and affecting or affecting. And ultimately, if you do it often enough with the same person, infecting people with your positive energy. Energy affects and infects. So that is healing. Intuitively, some of you might be being very drawn into doing more and more of that. And you can do that healing activity on a daily basis with everybody that you're you know, coming into contact with. Even if you don't feel amazing inside, by smiling at somebody else, you actually receive back the love that you're giving out as well. So that's the cause and effect that's going on in here. So if you smile at somebody, even if you're not feeling brilliant internally about your world, they smile back at you. You have started to create a positive energy cycle that will also help you. Okay, so that's the giving and the receiving energy that's coming through here. Some of you are maybe interested in more actually going into the healing arts. Now, healing arts can be art, like creating beautiful art can help people, creating music can help people, creating easier ways of processing uh, and engineering projects or work can help people because you're making people's life easier. So there's all sorts of ways that you can apply healing into your life. For some of you, that decision is going to bring some kind of shift that could help you take you on a journey, perhaps a life path journey, um, metaphorically or it actually literally a physical journey um where your creations are going to help people in parts of the world that perhaps you didn't realize that they were going to help we've got the seven of swords again oh my goodness all right <laughs> acting strategically getting away with something acting strategically i'm going to just take that energy okay so we're going to repurpose the seven of swords energy which can be about worrying about what other people have to say about you and repurposing it to acting strategically, thinking clearly and carefully and cleverly about how you use your energy to help yourself and other people. And we've got the chariot again. Wow. Okay. So that change in mindset is going to help you shift things forward really quickly. You're overcoming trials and regaining control. Strength and willpower are vital to ensuring victory through the path and obstacles ahead. The key message is that you need to main maintain focus to emerge successfully in this new next phase. Stay the course and follow your plan with confidence. I love this. Okay. So I think that for many of you, there's going to be something that is going to spontaneously start to shift. You're going to have a, a a sudden idea or a sudden, why am I doing this this way? Because your intuition is going to give you a huge hit that says, mm, if I carry on doing things this way, I'm going to carry on getting the same result. If I change my attitude or my outlook or just my energy state to being slightly more positive, you don't have to overthink this. It's really important that we don't try to get our mind involved with some of our intuitive hits it's just like is this making me happier or not is this giving me more positive feedback or not 
am I helping myself to be slightly more positive today or not? That in turn is going to help you move forward with some kind of creative projects. Things are going to blossom. Things are going to shift much more quickly. Things are going to grow much more quickly. Mother Earth, this volcano, this energy, this breathing, this ability to give a sigh of relief because you're speaking your truth to yourself. You're allowing your soul to be the leader. And that's what this spontaneity in high priestess is doing. And the cause and effect with the joy in the dolphin and the healing is basically saying, by if you want to heal yourself and you want to awaken and you want to embrace a happier life journey, then and to, to move that more shiftly, then you have to be very strategic about your thoughts. You have to be very strategic about being true to yourself and literally working on that. Make a decision. Do I feel more positive or not? Does it feel good to do this or not? And you start to really engage with your feelings as opposed to your thoughts. Does it feel good or not? Does it feel good or not? So a spontaneous idea comes through to you. Does that feel good or not? And allow yourself to to feel that. And the cause and effect is if you put good out into the world, good comes back. If you put negative energy out into the world, you'll never feel good. <laughs> okay, People might smile back at you and going, oh, poor you, but they're less likely to be that kind of person that meets your energy. If you go out with a grumpy face saying, I want to make everyone happy, <laughs> trust me, you're going to be challenged. <laughs> okay, So I do know somebody like that, somebody I, I, uh, I work with who I absolutely adore, um, who really loves to spread happiness, um, but walks around with a really fierce face all the time. And you're just like, well, you know, when you turn up with a fierce face, people are going to be slightly scared by your fierce face. So, um, you know, put on a happy face, even if you don't want to. Take the mask off that made you want to put on the fierce face in the, in the first time. Angels of the seven chakras, truth, power, and connection. And we have Archangel Raziel, wisdom, inspiration, and Akashic records. All right. So there is the angels, the angels coming through. I really did feel we had angel energy. And here we have literally angel energy finishing off this message. So we have got um perhaps some of you really are into chakra energy healing. Um yeah, that could be something that is is really important for some of you and sharing your wisdom, your inspiration. There's something about your destiny that is very tied into healing through speaking your truth healing through the healing arts healing through maybe helping people literally to activate changes in their physical body and we have got pearls of wisdom look at that wisdom inspiration look how the cards are just lining up today you're finding a pearl of wisdom and then you're releasing it into the world all of your wisdom needs to be released into the world pisces and sacred chalice that is a cup of love that is an offer of love I feel like it's an offer of love from the angels. It's almost like, look, this is in your temple that is under the water, that is now risen above the water. Look how it's coming up out of the water. Okay, what is this about? What do the angels want you to know? Maybe one more spread, that one. There we go. Oop. What are those two doing? Okay, central energy. We have got the six of discs and success. Wow, yes. Wow. Okay, magician, add an ego. So this is physical, like the material world, the emotional world, the spiritual world. This is your ego, your mind. This is your intuition. We have got the three of wands and virtue. We have got, we have here, the seven of cups and the eight of discs. And we have got the Ace of Discs and the Universe. Wow. Okay. Pisces, this is really high vibration. So your mind, your ego at a material level is where most of us sit um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Our, our mind considers and constantly thinks about the material world. It sometimes connects to our emotions and it sometimes connects to our spirituality, but mostly our ego sits in the material world. Success is coming to you because your ego is actually really prepared to listen to and embrace the magic. It knows that it's magic. It knows that there's more, more magic than just the ego trying to deal with the material world. The ego dealing with the material world doesn't really get very far and it has a lot of pain and it has a lot of struggle. The ego that is joined up to the soul and the soul is the primary driver of the 
of the of our physical system our body our body is a system that is energy which is our soul which is intelligent it's our body which is um, our material physical body which is intelligent and our mind our ego which thinks it's intelligent but has no idea really how our soul or body actually physically works we might know that our heart pumps blood around we might know a lot about our physical stuff from scientific studies but we don't know about our energy okay so we don't know enough how it works where it comes from what we do know is when we work with our energy at a soul level magic happens and so your ego has worked that out and here we have the highest vibration which is your soul energy at a spiritual level which is connected to the universe this is so powerful this is so lovely you're having a lot of success and a lot of success is going to come to you pisces when you have these two energies there couldn't actually be a more perfect combination your ego knows that there's magic that is more than just it and that your soul is allowed to lead the way your soul is allowed to be the energy that connects to the universe that is where success comes from okay what does everything else in the middle entail your soul is just saying look well done okay like well done for wanting to embrace growth and self-expression and creativity you know that is the seat of the how the material world unfolds for us when we embrace our own self-expression emotionally your ego and your soul are, are actually really we've got the eight of discs and the seven of cups it's like work diligently be careful about your choices make choices that are based on what's right for you, what is emotionally the right thing. Don't, well, we have spontaneity. There's spontaneity with careful consideration of how you feel about what it is that you might want to do. And then at, a, at, a, at an ego spiritual level, the Ace of Discs, this work that you're doing to embody success through working with your soul, your mind and soul in, in tandem, to speak your truth, to help heal the world, to share your pearls of wisdom, to embrace what it is that you really, really want. Here we've got the Ace of Discs. This is going to bring you a lot of opportunities. It's going to bring you real success, financial success, a new approach, a new opportunities, a new stance that you're going to adopt about what success means to you and how that is going to arrive for you. So the six of this is a good fortune, an advancement, a windfall. And the ace of this is that, that coming into fruition, that decision, that spiritual gift that you're going to share with the world is going to bring you a lot of financial advancement. Okay. Well, these two cards going on here. Oh my goodness. And victory and the night of this. Yeah. You've been you've been working really, really hard. You've been working very hard to understand yourself, to come into alignment with your soul. And that is paying off here with the night of this. That is really, really paying off. Here we've got the victory. There's the the six of wands, the ultimate card of victory, right alongside this card of six of this and success. And the success is going to come as you literally push through the barriers, the moon. Yeah, coming out from behind the shadows. I always think this card is like the, the leaves on a tree. The moon is coming out your energy. That's Pisces energy coming out behind the shadows. It's a slow, steady journey that you've been on, but you're going with the flow of your life. You're embracing your dreams. You are adopting the Pisces energy here. With, you're allowing your, your ideas to ripen. You're pushing through. Like you're going to be thick skinned about speaking up and speaking your truth. You have the truth. You have the power to talk about healing energy, to talk about energy in general. You've got an immense amount of wisdom now that has been storing up inside of you. And you have something that is really, really important. The sacred chalice. You have a real understanding about what brings love and joy and happiness to humanity and it's been in your destiny for a long period of time, Pisces, to release this wisdom into the world, to inspire others to choose a path that is gentle and flowing and nurturing and nourishing. And this has been a dream of yours for a long period of time. It's time to enjoy the success and the victory that is going to come with this unbelievable alignment. Um, yeah, I, I, what I'm getting here as well with this blue energy coming through and this this blue rose, um, which if any of you watched a, a reading I did a, three or four days ago, the blue rose card came out. It is a really important story in my journey of connecting to energy. 
of being connected to by intelligent energy that isn't humans, um, whether it's animals or whether it's angels or whether it's, um, you know, other energies as well. Um, and I just have to say, I have committed <laughs> to, um, to writing a book about all of my experiences, something that I'd be talking about doing, but I hadn't actually, you know, raised it to be my priority, but it is absolutely my 100% priority as well as looking after you beautiful souls in the community and, and supporting you with, um, you know, courses, which I think would help you understand some of yourselves, um, hopefully in a way that will really help you and inspire you to go on and help and heal the world as well. So um, that is what I've been working on over the last week or two, which is completely readjusting my priorities to make sure that I am putting out healing knowledge into the world that is all about spreading the message of the universe, the fact that it does exist. It doesn't want to be worshipped. It wants to be enjoyed. It wants to be played with. It wants to be understood. It wants to be connected to, and it wants to be recognized. It wants human humanity to recognize that we have the ability to achieve when we stop holding ourselves back and stop fearing our own greatness. And that's a real, real healing that you need to do inside because we're the only people in the world that can own our thoughts and feelings. And when you own your thoughts and feelings and you align your ego to subserve to your soul, incredible things will start to happen for you, Pisces. Absolutely incredible things. And it's an absolute privilege to be able to work with you. The collective that you all are and the journey that you're on is just so inspiring. It's so cutting edge and it's so vital. It's so important. And I just appreciate each and every one of you for helping me to be able to um, serve you in bringing these messages out. I'm feeling quite emotional. Thank you so much for being here today. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.